Hey friends, Carl here. I was just calling to make this video. Um, it's it's pretty rare that I get upset. I'm usually pretty even keeled, um, but I am a little upset today. I'm not upset like where I go crazy or punch things or something, not like that. But uh, it's got me upset is uh, this uh, Sarasota Tim Chris person. Um, None of us would even know who he is. He won't come up on any feeds. He barely gets any views, but we only know him because Tim told us about him. And the dude is faceless and nameless and has no talent. I mean, really. Um, he comes on and in the first video or the second video or something, he's like, I'm going to tell you the truth. You guys got it all wrong. Tim is completely different. You know, we're all lying. Even though the lies we tell or the truth we tell, we have no idea. It's what Tim said. It came out of his mouth. Um, we There's video of him playing it. If I was better at making these videos, I'd be able to show you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Tim goes, blah, 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 blue. Tim goes, blah, blah, blue. And he says it. I mean, come on. They're not lies. It's the truth. You can like Sarasota Tim and and watch him for the moron he is and the backstabber and the, the grifter and uh, he'd take a dollar out of your wallet uh, and he wouldn't give a shit about you. You know, you know, and you can like him for that if you do, but if you like that kind of stuff, then you're a backstabbing grifter too, and you're admiring how he does it. Or you could be someone that just likes watching him be an idiot and uh, his life going down the tubes, and you're just slowing down to watch the car crash, which is what I do, and I freely admit it. Oh my goodness. Uh, but he said he would tell us the truth or the things we were saying weren't true and the things Tim's saying aren't true. But he's never done that. All he does is make fun of people personally, how they talk, how they act, how they look, which is fine. You can't do that to him because he's a, oh, he's a coward. He's a total coward. We can't make fun of how he looks because he doesn't even show himself. And he's got no talent. Oh, I, I do great voices. He does terrible voices. The only reason we know who it is is because he puts a picture up there. If he just did the voices and didn't use any context, you probably wouldn't even know who he's talking about or who he's imitating. I mean, that's crazy. And the other thing that bugs me is, uh, yeah, I use foul language when I'm in private, when I'm with my spouse or when I'm with friends. But... I am talking to the general public. I have no idea who is ever going to watch this. So I wouldn't use foul language uh, just because it's the polite thing to do. Uh, you don't know who's watching this and if they're watching it with their kids. Some people, adults, will watch stuff with their kids and then, oh, what word is that? You know, it's not good. You should, you should if you're going to make something that's going to go out to the general public and you don't know who's going to see it, you should be somewhat polite. You should have some rules because you you can't just bring your kid into an R-rated movie. They wouldn't let him in. But if you're watching something, there's no way you can stop someone that shouldn't be watching it from watching it. Um, that's just how I feel. There's other people that want to use foul language and put it on YouTube and they think that's fine. And that's great. If that's how you feel, that's fine. I don't think that way. Um, Oh, but he's a total amateur. He's he's not good. He's not got no talent, and he's got no respect for people. He hides with no name and no face. I mean, come on. I'm a. I didn't want to do this for the longest time, but I came out, and it takes courage. And I watch other people take courage. Van Adventures over 50. I mean, like in her first video, she was like laying her soul bare. I'm giving this up. I'm going to do a van thing. I'm going to do this. And even through, even through her adventures and with her mother, she tells you all about it. And uh, Miss Vicky, she's, you know, her, her mother. I mean, I, I feel bad for you, Miss my sympathies. Um, but she lays it bare and, uh, you know, but she's out there and she's telling you stuff and uh, it takes courage. And since he can't put his face up there, he has no courage. He's a total coward. 
and I can't stand cowards. Um, anyway, uh, I was getting upset, so I thought I'd forget stuff. Um, but, oh yeah, and attacking people personally on how they, I mean, that's just an amateur hour, making fun of people on how they look, you know, um, you know, uh, like with, uh, blind views, you know, there's, there's stuff you can, you can go after, but why he's, he's giving you entertainment and you're entertained by it. It doesn't matter what he looks like or how he lives or what he does. You know, you're coming there, um, to get, you know, to get the, uh, the dirty deal, the, what do they call it? The gossip, the whatever, you know, and I'm guilty of it. It's a guilty pleasure. Uh, it's everybody's guilty pleasure. If it wasn't, there wouldn't be Real Housewives. There wouldn't be uh, Blind Views. There wouldn't be uh, people talking about Sarasota Tim. And the people watch Sarasota Tim. I put Sarasota Tim in my videos. I get like three times as many people that watch it as don't watch it. Than when I just talk about minimalism and, and living life and living below your means and stuff like that. That's all good stuff. But the vast majority of people care less about it. You know, they just want to do what they want to do. And they don't, they don't um, want to know about that. And that's fine. They don't have to. Um, and that's what the, the titles are all about. You put out there what you're doing. And if they don't want to know about it, they just scroll on by. You know, that's, 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 how, it, that's how it works. Um, yeah, he's got a limited uh, vocabulary. He's got no personality. One video is just like the rest. You could play 10 in a row and then stop it and go, uh, what was number six about? And you'd have no idea. Um, he probably doesn't have any life experience and he probably has little to no education. And that's probably why Tim appeals to him because he's probably trying to act like Tim or do what Tim does. And he's getting tips from Tim and uh, Tim makes him think it's awesome. Tim makes it, makes him think it's okay. Well, what Tim does is not okay. It's not okay in the least, but you know, we don't have to be around him. And if anyone come ac came across him was on that cruise ship and he's running around with this camera, we're going the other way. If he comes up and starts talking to us, we're like, oh shoot, uh, uh, I got, I got somewhere I gotta be. Uh, sorry, dude, I gotta go. You know, nobody's going to spend any time with him, especially people that, that can read people very well. And no accountability because he doesn't show, he doesn't show who he is. So he's not held accountable for him. And you don't really know who he is. My son's looking at me like I'm a moron because I'm blogging. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a great look. <laughs> like, whatever, dad, you're being stupid. Uh, that's what he's going to tell me. Why do you do that? You know, it can't possibly be good for you. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. I like it. I, it's fun. And then I met a whole bunch of friends around the country that I would that I don't know. And I really still don't know. But I feel like I'm friends with people and it's fun. Um, but anyway, I got, oh, I'm supposed to be mad. <laughs> I am upset. Um, but anyway, but, you know, not upset like where it really matters. Because none of this stuff really matters to be honest with you. But he hides in the shadow. He's got a false name. He's got no identity. Um, he says his name is uh, Chris and he says he lives in Pittsburgh. And both of those could be true. They could be not true. We have no idea. I usually, usually people tell me uh, they say something and I just take it as the truth because I don't want to assume everybody's lying. Uh, the dude that told me he pays Tim 150 a week and he's going to do it forever and he's done it forever. You know, I just take that as him being true. But it can't be true because there's been a month where he only made $90 on coffees in a month. So if this dude's paying 150 a week, there's no way that could, that one can't be true and the other can't be true. And I trust the source that tells me he got 90 a month. I didn't look it up for myself because I don't care that much. And I don't want to care that much. I don't want to get that invested in. I'm just being entertained. I just want to have fun. I just want to watch stuff and laugh. Like last night, I watched all Blind Views. Blind Views makes me crack up. And uh, since I know what he's talking about and everything, it, it's funny. Just like if you watch Desperate Housewives. Sometimes I don't really watch it, but my wife's watching it. And if I come down, I'm like, well, why does that matter? Because she knows everything and we know everything. And that's what makes it funny. Uh, but come on, Chris, uh, you, you got to have little to no education with the words that you use. And you're just a tool like Tim. Um, and you're the only person. You're just probably a grifter like Tim, too. And you think you're comparing your griftering to him. 
you know, and how successful you are. Make a channel about how you're a better grifter than Tim and do that. And we can watch and make fun of you too. You know, that would be awesome. Uh, but you won't because you're a total coward. Coward. You know you are. Anyway, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You got to call someone that you love and tell me you love them because that's what Joy wants you to do. Tracy wants you to never forget that you are magic. That's awesome. That's that's like the best thing I ever heard ever. And then I think you're looking great. It's a Friday. Um, almost done with truck school for the week. I test out on Thursday. Hopefully I won't fail, <laughs> but I'm studying. If I do fail, it won't be because I didn't practice and I didn't didn't learn as much as I could. And uh, that was it. Oh, you got, uh, I keep forgetting. You guys are great. You look fantastic. Peace. See you later. Bye.